I'm going to get the rarest pet in Minecraft, a blue axolotl, so that I can become the most powerful player on this server. But how is this cute, harmless, scrunkly little guy gonna make me powerful? Well, wealth is power, and I want to become the richest on the server, but getting diamonds and netherite wouldn't do much because everyone is already stacked. That means I'll have to get something super rare that everyone wants. And who doesn't want this guy? So now we just get some axolotls from a cave and grab some tropical fish from the ocean. And now we just breed them together, and it's not blue. Not blue. Not blue. No, no, no. Okay, I should probably check how rare these actually are. 1 in 1200 chance? This might be harder than I thought. Now, a blue axolotl might technically be the rarest pet, but I have a pet that's just as rare, my zombie Leroy. Now you might think that he's just a normal zombie, but there's only one Leroy. There'll only ever be one Leroy. In my last attempt to keep him safe, he ended up in a temporary nether hole, so I've got to move him to safety. All right, Leroy, let's get you out of here. Or why is there always a ghast? Whenever I'm traveling with Leroy, there's always a ghast. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Not in the lava. Get in the cart. Yes, 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 it worked. Oh God, why is he coming down again? Now he's coming back up. This is when we pull our master plan of breaking the yes, it worked. All right, Leroy, right through this portal. Bam, 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 bam. And he's in. Now that Leroy's safe, I can focus on my other problem, getting large amounts of fish. Now, tropical fish do naturally spawn in lush caves, but to get the amount that I'm gonna need, I'll have to dig out a kind of large area. But mining deep slate by hand just takes such a long time. So let's blow it up. Okay, let's just light this up. Get out of here. Oh, oh my God. Okay, are we good? The axolotls just almost died. Well, that is a lot of diamonds, wow. New OP mining method? That just blew up this entire area. Next time, we should just have a little bit less property damage. Okay, this looks good, but now we have to actually fill it with water. Somehow some axolotls snuck into the tropical fish room. If there's axolotls down here, they're just gonna kill all the tropical fish. So, um, please just avert your eyes. Okay, so I'll take you to my axolotl production setup right now, and the first thing is, I made a really cool door for it, all right? So you see this axolotl? When I put it here, the door opens. And then you go over here, and you just take out the axolotl and then it, is that not safe? I think I'm the first person to do this. Like I I don't think anyone else has made an axolotl door. Here we have our axolotls. Right now we have around 58, 59 axolotls. Which means we'll probably need to breed over a thousand more. Axolotl pack. Did you know that if you hit an axolotl, it'll play dead? Why aren't you playing dead? Why aren't you? Oh no. No, no, no. If you hit an axolotl, it sometimes plays dead. Please just do it for the video. Oh, there we go. You see, an axolotl will sometimes play dead to avoid enemies, and actually mobs will stop attacking axolotls while it's playing dead. Now, in real life, axolotls also play dead to avoid predators and can regrow their limbs, which is probably where the regeneration comes from. I didn't realize that doing axolotl facts would be so dangerous. So I think there are a few too many axolotls in here because whenever I breed them, I take entity cramming damage. I'm not just gonna put them in a chest to gather dust, I've got a plan. You see, this guy named Mint recently joined the server and I wanna give him a welcome present. And what better way to welcome a new player than by filling his house with axolotls? Okay, I think these cords should be right and this should take me right to Mint's portal. Oh my God, oh my God, that's him. Wait, he's right there. Oh my God. Okay, he's leaving. Is he gone? It looks like he went into like his mind. We're gonna have to do this really fast because I don't want him to see me. Let's place down here. That's where all our axolotls are. Now we can just get to filling the entire house with axolotls. Let's just make our entire inventory axolotls. We don't have time to, to do any organizing. Let's just place place a bunch of axolotls. Oh, one is taking damage. You know what? All right, there may be some casualties in our placement of axolotls. It's fine. It's more important that they all get put in the house. Bro, why are they dying? Stop dying! I'm not entirely sure how he's gonna get rid of all these. Maybe he'll like the axolotls. Maybe he'll say like, hmm, these axolotls will be my new friends. Probably he will just be a little bit angry that there are so many axolotls in his house. You cannot walk in this place without bumping into an axolotl. There are so many. You know what? I think this is an improvement from the old house. I think that maybe he should take some notes from me about how to decorate. All right, we got our final axolotls placed in. Okay, that's all that. It's a little obvious that there are some axolotls in his. You know what? Whatever. We don't have to worry. Uh, I think we should get out of here before he comes back. Though. Bacon, why are there like a million axolotls in my house? What? You, you're the only person. <laughs> I, I in my... can't imagine what who would do? do that. Who would even have that what? many axolotls? There's so many. But Bacon, how am I supposed to clean this up though? I've got like no bucket. Uh, now you have some. You have some friends. You have some little little friends. I don't want friends. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get you back for this. I've been breeding axolotls, but way slower than I'd like to. So let's speed run getting as many as we can in ten minutes. And maybe we'll even get a blue axolotl this time. Okay, the timer starts now. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is grab a bunch of tropical fish. And actually, tropical fish I think are the most underrated mom in mine. So there are 22 main varieties of tropical fish. But they can all also spawn with random colors and patterns. And that means that there are hundreds of possibilities of tropical fish that can spawn naturally in the wild. And all of that almost makes me feel a little bad because I'm feeding them to a lot of axolotls. Okay, now we just gotta start right clicking. There's so many axolotls that I take entity cramming sometimes, which is okay, it's just a little annoying. I have to make sure not to accidentally place the tropical fish in the water. Because if I do, the axolotls will just immediately kill them. Axolotls won't eat dead tropical fish to breed. They'll only eat the live ones, which I think is the same as real life. These little guys are kinda hardcore. I don't see any blue axolotls, so we gotta do more breeding. We have to go all 
all the way over here for the tropical fish to respawn, which is kind of annoying. You guys are going to have a great time where I'm gonna take. Luckily, I have enough axolotls that the five minute breeding cooldown doesn't really matter. Please just spawn a blue one. All right, I don't wanna have to be doing this for the next 10 hours. I don't see any blue ones. It's back to fish. We're at around the halfway mark. So we gotta speed it up a bit. I'm gonna have to go back in the edits and just count how many axolotls I bred, which is just not gonna be very fun, but it's all for science. I'm going to become the first axolotl breeding speedrunner. The key is to just breed as many axolotls as we can. It's okay if there's a few casualties along the way. Oh, there was like no time left. I've got to get the fish and get out. I'm gonna grab these two last. Oh, you know what? This is cutting it too close. I just gotta go. Oh my god, there's five seconds left. All right, bam, bam, bam. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure editor me knows how many axolotls there are, but I have absolutely no idea. I don't even know I'm gonna count these. Axolotl fact, when you get minor fatigue, when you get minor fatigue, <clears throat> there we go. When you get minor fatigue, oh my god, there are so many guardians. And then you place down an axolotl and a tropical fish, and then you, let me just, oh, come here. Little, yeah, get the, get the tropical fish, axolotl. That didn't work. All right, bam. I, wasn't I supposed to get the achievement? Let's go! Wait, it works! Basically, if you help an axolotl kill something, it removes your mining fatigue. I don't know why they added that into the game. I guess if you're at a place where you have your axolotl and you're at an ocean monument and you really can't find a cow to work, but other than that, why, why would this be useful? Alright, I just had to go uh, borrow some iron from Lena to get some more buckets for the axolotl. So, uh, I think we've bred a- What is- somebody break this? What the heck? Is Lyra- Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 Wait, Mint's online. Uh, hello. Mint, where, where is Leroy? Well, uh, you know what you did to my house with the, uh, axolotl? Yeah, and, and so you steal my pet? You Dude, Leroy's- Did you kill him? Is Leroy dead? Uh, I may or may not have killed Leroy. You kill- Oh my- I'm getting potions. Hey, listen, you are not- I know okay, you can't wait, 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 bacon, bacon, no, no, I know no, no. You... Okay, bacon, just- Just check your walls. Check <laughs> my walls? Check the walls around Leroy. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you find him? Man, you are uh I got you, I got you. Oh my, oh my god. god. Good prank? Yeah, I'll be seeing you later. Bye. Okay, luckily Leroy is safe, but this kind of makes me think that anyone could have gone into this base. Like Mint decided that he didn't want to steal Leroy, but he could have, and that would have been really bad. So I think that I'm gonna need to take some more precautions so that people can't just break into my base. First we have to break this portal. Because right now anyone can just find this portal and go through, and I don't want that to lead directly to my base. Then we'll just go up here and let's just build another portal right here. Bam, okay, now if I I'm correct, this should lead me right to the correct port. Okay, nice, it worked. Oh my god, bro. Whoa. Okay, wandering trader, this is your fault. Where did he go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, you too. Now, if we just drop down here, will this just take us right to our base? Okay, so now when you go through this port, we're teleported up here. Oh, hello. Did you just dodge that? Oh my god. And you can get in the base by going around here, pressing this pretty hard to see button, and jumping down. And bam. In the axolotl pit. Speaking of axolotl pit, let's do some more breeding. <laughs> Why did I join this VC? Right now there are around 170 axolotls in here. And if you add that to the 80 in the chest here and the 50 we put in Mint's house, that is more than 300 axolotls. And still none of them are blue. But I still want to add an extra layer. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why are you there? How did you get in here? Okay, I think that this just shows more reason why I need to add more security to Leroy's room. So I want to make a piston door that can only be unlocked if you have the correct key card, but I don't actually know how to do that, so... Today I'll be showing you how to make a key card. Why is it doing that? The key card door is done. So now if you want to get in, the only way to do it is to insert the correct key card, which is a tropical fish named Fishy on Me, into here, press the button, and the door will open. Now if you try this with anything else, like a moss block or something, just nothing will happen. But if you use this, the door opens. And now Leroy is a lot safer. And then if we just press this button, we can leave. We got the key card. And it's locked. You guys might notice the puffer fish that I always keep in my inventory. I think that it's time to give him a name. So to pick his name, I'm just gonna choose a random subscriber. A Yoshi it is. Now if you guys wanna be named after a pet in one of my videos, or just wanna see more of my content, then make sure to subscribe. It would mean a lot, and it really helps me out. There are around 400 axolotls in here, and there are not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Well, six, but a little bit more. Double chests full of axolotls. And none of them are the right color. I just hope I get one soon because I do not want to breed a thousand more of these. Axolotl fact, I'm going to clutch from max height with this bucket of axolotls. Okay, I'm going to be honest, guys, this isn't an axolotl fact, but it's still cool, right? Okay, while I'm clutching, I just want to tell you guys about my Twitch. If you guys enjoy the content here, you'll love watching me live stream on Twitch. And oh my god! God, oh my god, stupid, stupid axolotl. Oh god, okay, wait, now I gotta get back where I stuck. Why is swag bullying me? It's gotta be some, oh, it is right here. And I didn't build this out of sand for no reason, because now I can just... Oh my god, oh, this is so satisfying. And back to breeding. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, 
This dude just crawled out. I actually just spent like a half an hour breeding axolotls. I go on my phone to take a break, and this guy's just sitting out here. And now the real question is, how many axolotls did it take to get you? So let's craft some buckets and find out. Now I know some of you guys might want me to make an army of blue axolotls because now that I have one, I could technically breed a lot more. But the thing is, if I breed more blue axolotls, my blue axolotl is not going to be as rare, which kind of defeats the purpose of the entire thing. That is all the axolotls. So it took one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, fifteen double chests, plus the fifty that I put in Min's house, plus the sixteen in my inventory. Is 876 axolotls. All to get this one guy. Please subscribe.